If you're watching this clip, this was streamed live earlier, check the link in the description. Alongside that, this video is sponsored by VoiceMod. VoiceMod is the premier voice changing application and that allows you to sound however you want, wherever you want. And sometimes you're able to just have a little bit of fun and go in with the good old memes or just have a little bit of gasping, a little bit of memes too, just stuff of that nature. Everything's pretty cool here. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Woo, I'm about Ooh. to make a name for myself here. Yeah. I know, right, Voice Mod? And Voice Mod is actually free to download, but if you want more premium sounds and voice effects and sound effects, use code SLUG5, S-L-U-G-5, to get a discount on your pro membership price. It's pretty good. I paid for my pro membership and I've been using voice mod for many years at this point. They're really good and the audio you hear now is from voice mod. And I think you'll enjoy it too. Alongside that, who doesn't like sounding like they're in a cave or they're on a megaphone or stuff of that nature? Because in all reality, Voice mod is great. It's a lot of fun. It really adds a lot of variety to whatever content or just hanging out with friends. Check the link in the description. Use code SLUG5 for a discount. But there is another thing we need to talk about. There is a there's a VTuber. I know. There's a VTuber named Taiga. Taiga is someone that I really, I tried to be uh, neutral towards, or at least something of that nature. But what I am going to be doing is kind of trying to understand what goes on in that little head of theirs. So first, I think it would be We're talking. right here. We are going to learn about who Taiga is. Think it would be, where would it be? God damn it. Uh, yeah, it's just Taiga. So let's watch this video together. About it again. By it, I mean to address the elephant in the room, femboys. You know, maybe we talk about femboys a bit too much on this channel, but I guarantee some of you watching those femboy videos have a glisten in your eye because you're so in love with them. You sicko. But there's nothing wrong with liking a person with feminine qualities and all the attributes of a girl, just with a side salad of cock and balls. Not my cup of tea, but you do you. I'll judge you from afar. But today we're going to be talking about one femboy in particular who recently got banned off YouTube, had thousands donated to them, acquired a stalker that followed them all the way to their hometown, had a plethora of allegations rallied up against them, so much so they ended up on their favourite YouTuber's radar for a matter of seconds, only to be met with somewhat distaste, as said allegations seem to skewer their favourite YouTuber's opinion on them, albeit for a few seconds of knowing who they are. And it gets even worse when you- Now, let's begin. You know their favourite YouTuber was Moist Critical. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the femboy VTuber Bunga Tiger. How f***ing degenerate do you have to be to like, unironically, like, j to a femdog VTuber <laughs> on Twitch? You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be pretty like- Someone you may know from the- I- okay, this is a vid on Tiger. I'm not gonna lie. Anytime. I really gotta say this, I don't like VTubers. Well, correction, I don't like a lot of VTubers. I think a lot of VTubers are degenerates. There's another VTuber on here that tried to cover the Taika stuff, which, surprise, surprise, went horribly. And I genuinely don't, I don't think highly of these VTubers. I just don't. <laughs> I think they're all degenerate weirdos that can't just stop being weird freaks. And one of these like degen freak weirdos is Echo of Tragedy. Like I don't like any VTuber. Majority of these VTubers have always wound up being degenerates, being weirdos. 
and just being overall creepy as shit. They end up being sex pests or like degenerate predators. So seeing like some fucking freak like Taika pop up or Ref says Disu or Nux Taku. I'm not surprised. And I don't like VTubers. I really don't. A lot of them, especially ones that just always make their content of, oh, I'm being lewd. I'm being lewd, chat. Look at my model. Yes, go dance. Look at me. I'm a VTuber dancing. So let's keep going. Clips shared online from their streams on platforms such as YouTube, as there are quite a lot of them, many somewhat phallic in nature. But that's just the internet at this point, and most online femboys for some reason. Dog. I wanna. Ha I wanna. I wanna be a dog. Dog. Cause I do make good dog noises. Kurt Cobain POV. Because there is an incentive to this behavior. Although some of them could genuinely have this personality, you can't say it doesn't generate a lot of money. And if you hold it, yeah, no shit. <laughs> You're getting paid by a bunch of degens. Like, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the VTubers are degens. I'm not. I'm not gonna be shocked. A lot of them do this degen shit. This one in particular, though, is fucking gross. Any malice towards them for this? Probably hate more on the horn dogs in the chat giving them money. Hate the game, not the alt pink femboy playing it. But just to be discriminatory, all femboy VTubers basically are the same, except their differing avatar and tone of voice. I smell it. Boy smell. I, I smell a boy. What, what is a boy thing here? Oh, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? They're, they're, they're... I'm sorry. Some... <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. This is just abhorrently gross. Like, it's gross, it's cringe, and it's weird. Like, there's no real fucking, uh, like, there's no real fucking content to it. It's like, ah, oh, yes, thirst after my PNG, please. Someone had to say it. But anyway, instead of me being an encyclopedia on femboys, Bunga Tiger. They get somewhat of a poor reputation, not all of it valid, and most of it tangled in misinformation. However, the biggest question, if you don't know who they are, is who is Bunga Tiger? Well, Bunga Tiger started streaming back on the 27th of April 2020, the peak of the coronavirus lockdown, where many of us were stuck inside, left to confront our internal demons. Oh God, this is horrifying. Thank you, Lisa. If you rewind, we actually, I did a cooking thing where I made perfect pancakes and no one can question it because they were perfect pancakes. Objectively perfect pancakes. Or just play numerous games of Valorant, CSGO, and maybe VRChat to fill the void that was human communication and contact. Or do some soul searching and discover you like wearing thigh highs because they're warm and totally not because you're like feminine things. They're just programming socks, guys, which is the first phase of being a femboy. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I greatly appreciate it. Boy, how and no, they are not programming socks. Programming socks don't exist. The tiger garnered attention through their explicit and borderline NSFW personality. This attention made them known to YouTube clippers, who are the bottom feeders of YouTube, that is a compliment, don't worry, who most of the time clip anything remotely entertaining and then re-upload it to YouTube. Nice. Uh, do it, clap. Who within the ecosystem of said platforms like YouTube actually significantly benefit creators whilst also benefiting themselves. <laughs> I've never liked clip channels. I always think it's weird. It's a weird symbiotic relationship that borders on parasitic. But maybe that's me, but I just think it's super weird. I've been good, Lisa. But like, unironically, clip channels are so weirdly parasitic. They just don't add much to it. Which basically is a form of mutualism, but Tiger was mainly targeted by the femboy clippers. Yes, they exist. Just like Linux, there are many flavors of clippers. <laughs> Don't compare Linux to clip channels. 
You cannot just say, oh yeah, I run a femboy cock Linux. That's my favorite distro of Linux. It's a femboy cock. Mm, that sweet, sweet fembussy. Ah, just clip it, chat. And if you remotely understood that reference, you're definitely a femboy. But Tiger didn't. Enter okay, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I just got called a femboy. Jesus, fuck. No. God damn it. No. Fuck. Entirely benefit from this interaction as they were never significantly credited, leading them to start their own YouTube channel and clip their own streams. A YouTube channel which recently was removed off of YouTube due to sexually explicit content and possibly people mass reporting them. Because somewhat due to their explicit content, they also acquired a lot of stalkers. Stalkers which had a big hand in the downfall of their reputation, but they were a big <sighs> We're going to be digging into the uh, Taiga fanboy VTuber shit on... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, this is... Oh, God, yeah, no, Taiga is... The Taiga fanboys are not going to like what I got to say. Financial benefit, as one of them was supposedly a millionaire, donating 250k. Hey, hey! Life Ooh. is my creation, is my best friend. Imagination is my defense. Good stream, everybody. Had a lot of fun. Now, I don't care how masculine you are. You're probably not anywhere. A twig probably has more testosterone than you do. But 250k... <laughs> is 250k. If I knew I was about to get that money, the thigh highs would go on almost. <laughs> I do not have the fe the femboy features. I can't, I can't build femboy features. Immediately, don't lie to me, you'd do the same. But even with the financial support, this would become a problem for Tiger because this person had a heavy attraction to Tiger to say the least. And admirably, even with the prospect of money, Tiger shut down all of their advances. But before doing that, did hold a line of communication with them for a while. But this eventually fell apart when Tiger was obviously not interested in their sexual advances towards them. And this millionaire was not happy about that. Going all the way to their hometown in Canada and filing no. police reports against them. Along with... <laughs> no! I... D Chat. Of course I'm thick and juicy. I will not wear thigh highs. I cannot pull them off. I may have thick thighs, but they will not be wearing thigh highs. With a bunch of homophobia and transphobia. This lasted for around six months and was absolute hell for them. But fortunately, when that cleared up, Tiger just couldn't get a break. <laughs> Previous mods of their... What was that audio? Ah, what the fuck was that? What was that? Twitch stream and Discord created a document basically saying they were abusive, very much into shirt and lollies, which are like... Okay, there was another document. There we go. So, here's a document that was going over basically saying that... Okay, let's see. Uh, abuse so the mod abuse i'm not going to go into because majority of the time uh if you build a parasocial shit with your viewers and your mods like too parasocial you're able to end up abusing that so always always don't get weird with your mods you fucking dweebs now the biggest uh accusation uh, would be what? Bro, what the fuck is this? I don't care. I'm just going to have the video tell me. Children in anime and blatant transphobia and homophobia. And let's not forget grooming. Just feels like every crime a YouTuber can commit is always grooming. Like do some cool like tax evasion. Like come. Let's go. Tax evasion gets a shout out. Hell yeah. 
Come on. These accusations would be posted. Why didn't the gym teacher? Jesus. That's some fucking pedophilic shit. Jesus. No. Ah. Uh. Online and would reach the ears of a popular YouTuber called Nux Taku, a fellow VTuber who was on a podcast with Moist Critical, was not informed on the whole situation, but yet still made an offhand comment. Left to teach to ring money. Is this hollow life? No, uh, Taiga is an indie streamer who, I don't know the whole story, but Taiga was outed to be a pen. Uh, oh. Now he prefaces it by saying, I don't know the whole story, but he still says it anyway. He doesn't even add allegedly anywhere. Basically, admitting you don't know the full context yet, still making. Nux is a fucking degen. He had Shadman as like a. Same with Elvis the Alien. All these VTubers, I don't like them. I don't like VTubers. The only ones. Actually, there are two legitimate VTubers I like. Yeah, two legitimate VTubers I like. I'm going to be as clear as possible. Iron Mouse and Onigiri. That's it. Those are the only VTubers I like because outside of that, yeah, no. It's Onigiri and Iron Mouse. Only VTubers I like because they're... They're weird, yeah, but it's not like they're fucking degen freaks, you know what I mean? But I'll be going into the chat, the sh the Nux Taku stuff afterwards. The comment is the equivalent of being blindfolded and throwing dog feces at people, and Nux himself hasn't had the best reputation when it comes to similar events. Because quote unquote, he just believes what his friends tell him, and it is a bad habit of his. Like I was in a video and I was talking about it, and I I also alleged that he did that because close friends of mine told me, and I saw you know creepy conversations of him talking to kids and or or talking about kids and you know the yeah. liking little boys and stuff like that. Who knows if it's a joke, you know? And like I I alleged it also because a friend told me. And a tad bit of hypocrisy when it comes to the lolly and. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thanks, you non vertebrae mollusk. Let's see here. Let's see if we're able to get a uh, good spot. Hey, thank you. I do greatly appreciate it, Katie. Ah, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And now, is it going to work? Maybe not. Thanks, you non-vertebrae mollusk. There we go. Perfect. Now we have all of our stuff. Yep, we got Patrick. Very based, very based. Thanks, you non-vertebrae <laughs> mollusk. The fact that I got Xyli as a sound effect. I did not go over the fur affinity hack yet. Um Thanks, you non vertebrae <laughs> mollusk. The next topic will probably be a little bit of some of the fur affinity and all of that hack. Thanks, you non vertebrae <laughs> mollusk. Woo! Trying to make sure I'm not overlapping with the alert okay i think we're good let's continue thank you for the five gifted subs katie i greatly appreciate it and shut her argument which feels like it's lasted decades now longer than naruto shippuden with the argument being liking lollies and shirters means you like kids irl even though he has associations with people that endorse or use lollies and shirts yeah that's of course, insane. And even has some of his thumbnails. Then ah, this is what I meant, Lisa, about the fucking. Or use lollies and shows and. This is what I mean. The fucking degen shit in Nuxtaku's uh, thumbnails are what I was talking about. Like that's why I genuinely don't like Nux. I think he's a degen. Plus the fact that. 
he had multiple instances of using Shadman's art in his thumbnails bugs me beyond a shadow of a doubt but let's continue chat even has some in his thumbnails then when making a video about people talking about the hypocrisy and the thumbnails went back and changed all the thumbnails and i'm not getting involved in that shit storm i'm just gonna let moist critical talk about it well how, why is cutie such a big deal when anime has kids being sexualized well first of all anime is fake those, those, like, children lolly things, those fucking 900 year old vampires that look like they're four years old, the little cum demons that have existed for two millennia, but they look like a six year old, those aren't real people. They are animated fake things. But Bungo's reputation was on the floor because of the allegations made against them and Nux Taku talking about it with Charlie. More negative attention was given to Tiger. They obviously responded with anger when hearing other YouTubers were talking about it with no context. Ooh, I don't know the whole story, but Tiger was added to be a pimp. Uh, oh. oh, I don't know the, I don't know the whole story, but oh, we, we hoo oh. We want to talk about, we want to talk about out of context, bro. I don't know. It's a past thing. Uh, like there was the VTuber that uh, was canceled for allegedly mm -hmm. doing weird um, grooming type sh**. And, uh, alleged by you, Nux! You alleged that! You said that! No one else did! And evidently due to this prompt. So this is like a whole thing. Had to open up about their past stalker and trauma as they had a hand at sullying their reputation. But they were also angry because it was a blatant smear campaign. Because, surprise surprise, many of the allegations made against them were false. And mainly down to the fact they did not reciprocate the affection shown to them by their ex-mods and past stalker. With one allegedly only wanting to be a mod to get close to Tiger and neglecting their duties. So one's- Damn. When you got modded Gilk stopped, when Gilk got modded, Ali stopped. Have you thought about having new mods vetted? Do, do, do. Bunch at once, none of them really stepped up. Both of them were removed and replaced by Tiger. They were just a tad bit angry. So they compiled a list of allegations with out of context screenshots. Huh. Shots of DMs, which to this day, that document is no longer available. On what do you mean the document's fully there? How is it not available? Like, maybe it's the whole allegation of abusing mods that might be the thing. E, I don't blame you, Lisa. I don't blame you. Thank you, Chase. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Yeah, no, this all looks like it's weird but let's see on the internet one can only wonder why but tiger's reputation was getting dragged through the mud with most people thinking they were a terrible person and a pedophile until a guardian agent came from the clouds of heaven gave their career a much needed mercy res and that was a private investigator who had previous cases with child endangerment and exploitation and wanted to be anonymous but they produced the document the exoneration of bungo tiger they found that one of the people providing the evidence, which was the Discord mod Gilk, was very much infatuated with Tiger. And when they decided to neglect their mod duties in favour of caressing their meat to a femboy in the form of a Tiger, they were dropped as a mod. And due to this decision and their limited contact with Tiger now, would start badmouthing Tiger anywhere they could in general chats, to the point where they were removed from Tiger's Discord after claiming Tiger was a money whore. The document would also uncover it was a group effort of three people, the aforementioned Discord mod, the other Discord mod, and the millionaire stalker. Oh. That's, that's so weird. And yes, chat, I will forever be weirded out by VTubers. I'm writing this, I'm not a longtime fan, independent investigator who happened across Tiger. So I don't know. Who made this information? Document details. Uh, God damn it. So I will keep my identity and on as many of the. So this is kind of something that bugs me a bit. Most private investigators or independent investigators that are legitimate in nature. So I'm not 
I'm not going to assume that this is a legitimate investigator. I'm just going to assume it's someone looking into this situation on their own, on their own merit as, as well, rather than looking into it in a way that would be, oh, let's investigate, figure out something because we're being paid using exclusive tools or anything. I just, um, I don't know. It just feels really uh, weird. So we'll be digging into this. All of which grew an attraction to Tiger, but all of them failed to get close to the thigh-high wearing femboy. Now on to the grooming allegations. Much of the evidence provided was taken out of context and were jokes, with one being a reference from Sonny in Philadelphia. I was cute, I was energetic, I was fun. And another one being when they were 19 years old and very mentally immature. And from the screenshot and not knowing- 19, they're an adult. They're grown, they're an adult. I don't care. I hate this argument of, oh, you're 18, you're 19, you're immature. That only applies in certain circumstances. You can't just have this type of shit go on. During the previous contact, 19 years old. And I was cute. I was energetic. I was fun. And another one being when they were 19 years old and very mentally immature. And from the screenshot and not knowing the previous context, it's very hard to know. It is a joke. With the transphobia and herbophobia, many of the logs were edited. But Tiger has previously publicly spoken about how open their communities to trans people and others are part of the LGBTQ. So basically nothing but support for trans people and those part of the LGBTQ. And then there were the claims of toxic behavior by Tiger, especially towards the mods. And it just boils down to they were doing their job. So they got removed, made a document and cherry picked evidence from DMs that looked damning just to get back at. Now, this is not a jab at my mods because my mods do like a shit ton of work for me and help me out a lot. Like, they do a shit ton of help for me. But a lot of the reason why I have so few mods and, like, very many automations to it, like robots doing a lot of the mod moderation, it's because of the fact that a lot of the times, if you mod the wrong person and then they get power hungry or they just build this parasocial connection that, oh, if they're not a mod, they're being seen as, like, the other being seen as less than, it'll kind of backfire. That's always been my thing when it comes to like mods or anything of that sort. It's kind of keep that, um, kind of just keep it in a way that's separated in a better stance, I guess. You know what I mean? Keep it in a way that's not weirdly obsessive. That's kind of how, yeah, like every time like someone has a mod power trip or anything of that sort, it always ends up being a huge fucking issue for no fucking reason. Like it's safer to just automate everything and monitor the bots and act alongside them. Tiger. However, the only true thing about the document were the Shota commissions. Once again, a Shota is a child in animes, more specifically Wait. document where the Shota damning just to get back at Tiger. However, the only true thing about the document were- The only true thing about the document- The Shota commissions. Once again- Are the Shota commissions. Shota is a child in animes, more specifically a boy. Tiger's OC is also classified as a Shota, with the ever so comedic line of they're over a thousand years old. I've had this so many times, I just want to put 7.62 in my head. But the commissions were of the OC and supposedly safe for work. But it's up to you to come to what conclusion you want about that. I personally could not give a fuck. As long as it isn't on the level of Burke and Pico, and we don't get another three episodes of Burke and Pico, everything- Why? Here's the big thing. It's not just that. It's them obsessing over shit like this. Like, why? Everyone's doing these weird fucking obsessive posts about this shit. It's always fucking gross shit, dude. It's always gross shit. Like, it's fucking gross. Every fucking time. And it's fully acknowledged that Taiga commissioned Shotokan and was posting 
imagery of literal children. Literal animated children. That's fucking disgusting bullshit. Like, it's disgusting fucking awful shit. Yeah, I can't even show that. I can't. I can't even show this. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yeah, no, this shit, he's a fucking freak. He's a pedophile. Hell no, he's a degenerate fucking disgusting freak. I can't even show it. Because it's literally... This is what this fucking taiga person does. He posts, like, images of kids pissing. That's disgusting. No worries, I'll just do that when it's freed up. Thing is right with the world, but despite having their name cleared, their reputation was still in the toilet. Even to this day, people blindly believe that their their stuff was never cleared, though. Like grooming allegations are very much true, due to how fast it spread. They're literally a pedophile. They're literally a pedophile. They commissioned pedophilic material, and little to no public knowledge on the actual truth. However, it was only going to get worse for Tiger. Not only is there mil- Twitter, yes, this is the picture they uploaded. If you're popping a tent right now, I would recommend removing the foundation. Very happy at this event, proving everyone wrong, give candy to a baby, nudity policy, which in my own opinion, they do make a lot of risque videos. Not entirely NSF. Yeah, I can't- was making <laughs> Bro, I can't even fucking get past that. It's just, yeah, no, you are- not exonerated you're not exonerated in the fucking slightest like what the fuck see here he is also a hypocrite covered alleges taiga content is pedophilic calling it csam so stalker commissions all of this the reality is Taiga still had interactions with that material, and it's fucking disgusting. So, outright, I'm Taiga. You're no, you're not exonerated. That type of shit is fucking gross. That shit's fucking gross, dude. Outright gross. There's no excuse for it.